It telegraphs the entire situation. Freeze will have to spell shield it. However, Nuke Duck's getting rolled on. Oh, he's gonna flash away from the petrifying gaze, but he can't get away from the knockup, the poison and the fangs, and first blood to Soren. Fantastic gang by Shook there. He knows even if Nuke Duck flashes out, he can just flash knockup right after Soren doing the right thing. Connecting ulti is all he needed. Not a stun, just a slow is enough. But Yankos for the return gang. This is the reply. Young Buck's gonna get caught out. Keats and Barrel. Steve's going in. There goes the body slam, and this should be an easy kill. Steve secures it. A little cool trick by Happened to walk backwards a little bit. Giving a waste of time. Yankos is still in that brush. Top lanes are trading. Well, they are going back and forth. Steve working towards that Morella Nomicon. And we see Young Buck, the makings of that Catalyst of Protector. They're continuing right. to trade. Steve is going to throw out the Time Wander. Young Buck forced to flash away. Steve is looking for more. He's got the phase dive, and Young Buck's low. Flash Steve. forward. Time Wander comes back for the stylish finish. Cool guys, don't look at exploding Maokai's. He walks away fully on style. And here we go in the middle lane. And Soren's acting gig has not paid off. Gangas Ooh. comes in, but he does not land the body slam. Knocks away Soren. Yanko should be able to finish this off. What one more barrel slap as Shook actually replies onto Steve up top. Another one for one, but it was Young Buck that adds a kill credit to Rocket. We'll see if this pays off. We did catch a brief glimpse of Nuke Duck and his Goro build with those four weapons. Steve and Yankos turn their attention onto Young Buck. He's gonna throw down that vengeful maelstrom, but I think it's just in a matter of time before he gets caught out. Body slam connects, time winder once more, and Steve's three and one. If you get caught once, the amount of slows and speed ups on. Comes up, Mr. Rolls is trying to hop, to skip, to jump. He's gonna get the monsoon for safety. Time winder for Peel. Steve decides to go back in. He's so burst down Soren, but it's not enough. The barrel will send Soren home. Yankos picks up the kill, trading one for one. And she barely survives because of the Janna reset. Imagine if they have a deep ward right there. Young Buck can teleport on. He's Soren. Well, let's see. Soren gets knocked back into the chain of corruption. Hail of Arrows comes down. A couple more shots, and Nuke Duck gets the kill on the blue buff. Deja vu. Not gonna secure a kill. Yankos. Look at the mid lane as well. Nuke Duck is keeping Soren down in the, in the mid lane. He can roam at any point quicker than Soren can. I would like to see him do that. So let's, let's find out. Play. Tower's going low. Yankos is hanging out on the side. We do see the Rico. engage from Unlimited. Shook is trying to come in. He has a teleport from Steve. He's pulled the trigger first, I believe. He's rocked up. We do see Young Buck arriving. They're about the same time. That's a knockaway from the explosive cast. Copenhagen Wolves are in retreat. Steve, Rawls are chasing them down. Nuke Duck may be able to solo Soren. He does. Now Shook is throwing out those Prey Seekers, but it's simply not enough. Rocket get two kills and a tower. 70 million, which is Huni. <laughs> Still the build you want to do. CDR, AP Mage Assassin, go in, and then ulti out. Well, Young Buck is being focused down. Rocket have started this one. It's a 3v3 before Nuke Duck has arrived. Chrono Break gets the burn down onto Young Buck as the phase dies, throws him onto Unlimited. We did see that chain of corruption thrown out from Nuke Duck to add to the mix. Two kills and another tower. And the best part about Chrono Break is that it resets tower aggro, so it facilitates dives, and if you fight for we see Raul is moving to the top lane. He doesn't want to group in mid lane. He doesn't want to facilitate that group. Rocket want to go for the 1-3-1. Ward in between and make pickoffs. Well, let's find out. Yankos does throw down the explosive cast. Freeze is most likely going to pick this kill up. We do see him continuing to chase with on the hunt. Yankos still alive. He gets a shield. Still alive! Monsoon will keep him alive for a few seconds longer. Enough to get the 280 carries of Rocket into the fight. They've now traded one for one. We see Unlimited being chased away by those Ren Sacks and Shook was caught up. It looks like he's going to get run down as well. Copenhagen Wolves get one, lose two, and Unlimited will follow suit. Who's going to get the kill credit? Mr. Rawls no one not going to land the shot. Double flashes. They really want the triple, and they get it. Yeah, very poor target prioritization from Copenhagen Wolves. They could have killed Rawls wow, here. Wow, look at that Soren. damage. Get yeah. a fine gaze, doesn't stun. Steve oh. jumps in. The Archangels is going to keep... Wasted cooldowns if he presses ultimate. Speaking of ultimates, he has freeze. Well, let's see. They are going to try focus Steve. He's going to chrono break backwards and jumps onto Soren. Not going to be enough for the kill, but that was a whole lot of damage. 3,000 hit points on Baron. He has the TP from Young Buck. He'll arrive a second lower. Secured by the Ren, but this might get messy as Rocket are retreating. Chain of Corruption is going to try lock open Egg and Wolves together as Yankos is taken out. Vanda and Rawls, they're retreating. They're hopping backwards, but Young Buck is staying alive and staying true. Freeze gets a kill, gets a double. Rocket lose four for the Baron. At one point, <laughs> before I dwelled in the deep darkness of obscurity. 
That's not confidence. That's not fair. That's not fair. You're not obscure in that top. Uh, we do see Soren's caught out. Chain of corruption goes Push. out. He manages to petrify Vander in position, but it's not going to be enough. Steve gets a kill as Unlimited is trying to hunt those assists. All he'll do is give his own life. And those are traits that we had not associated with this team in summer. And maybe even not in spring. We see Yankos is going to get caught out, but Soren's used his ultimate just for Yankos. Now the disruption from the explosive cask is one kill for Wolves, but what will it cost them? So far, it's a top lane as Steve is going to go forward and Chrono Break backwards. Nukta gets himself a support as well. It's so hard to flank when you're down three hips. Soren, he gets caught out. Petrifying Gaze connects with nobody as Mr. Rawls gets himself another. Parallel Convergence stuns up the Copenhagen Wolves and Freeze gets frozen out of this game. Unlimited will get dropped as the Super Minions are on the Nexus turret. Young Buck and Shook are running for their lives. Rocket set their sights on the Nexus turrets. Take them down, focus the Nexus, and Rocket pick up their third win in summer. Fourth, the Unicorns of Love and Giants Gaming. We're going to start. Seeing Wukong locked in and watching Deficio's face is one of the highlights. We'll see how these two team comps work out. The first Syndra of Summer, the first Wukong of Summer. Let us know who you think is going to win, guys. At LOL Esports, hashtag UOL win or hashtag GIA win. This is the battle for sole control of fourth place. at the right time in the wrong place. Yeah, I mean, let's see what happens bot lane here. First binding already connected to Godfrey. Oh, and the stun, force of will, unleashed power. Easy peasy kill for power of evil. Frederick's gonna chase, got no flash, because he needs to flash away safely. And Unicorns get first blood. He's going against the trend. He's traditionally down four CS at this point. He's also playing Sentra, so it helps. He's up 15, but again, champion picks, right? Playing his favor. Frederick gets caught up by the Dark Binding. Cyclone will delay Hillisung as well as Kickis. Frederick is going to get kicked back by Kickis. And another kill for Unicorns of Love. And we talked about the jungle support synergy. Hillisung and Kickis. Oh, Kickis taking a lot of damage. We do see a flash away from Pepe Nero. Living Artillery's going to be charging up. He's got mana from Blue Buff. He gets caught out. Power of Evil now trying to get away. Here's Audrey. He's replied. Yes, he's he's going to be firing the Super Mega Death Rocket. He's going to see it now. We did see Pepper Nero. He's going to be in trouble. That's going to go wide. That going to hold Whirlib in place. Whirlib's not super tanky. If Power of Evil gets a stun, he could blow Whirlib up. Whirlib's going low. Dragon's Descent's available, but he's been uh, taunted. Not going to be able to cast it. Did actually get cast at the end there before Power of Evil secured the kill with the Ignite. Now Kickers sets his sights on Fred. We'll be following another Super Mega Death Rocket. The giant smiley face going to help Power of Evil out. Stand United comes out now from Visit Chachi. Let's see if he can get that Flash Shadow Dash. The name I was searching for a second ago and lost. Oh, that... Gonna hold Whirlib in place. Whirlib's not super tanky. If, if Power of Evil gets a stun, he could blow Whirlib up. Whirlib's going low. Dragon's Descent's available, but he's been uh, taunted. Not gonna be able to cast it. Did actually get cast at the end there before Power of Evil secured the kill with the Ignite. Now Kickers sets his sights on Fred. will be following another Super Mega Death Rocket. The giant smiley face gonna help Power of Evil out. Stand United comes out now from Visit Chachi. Let's see if he can get that Flash Shadow Dash. The name I was searching for a second ago and lost. What? is nullified when he's being focused. He doesn't have the tankiness. Audrey, level 12 versus Kickers. Kickers may be able to solo him. Challenging Smite goes out. Flash and heal, still available for Audrey. He's chasing, Stand United comes out from Chachi. There's a flash and a taunt available. Can he connect? Audrey, one more Mystic shot. He's used all of his summoners. Arcane Shift not gonna be available. Kickers and Chachi, the energy users combine to take down Ezreal. Check maybe with Frederick as well. But if he's forced to then disengage out, it becomes super tough and Godfred. Well, Godfred is down. Rodex does connect with the ulti. Giants getting down these outer turrets has been super important for them to stay relevant in the game. They're going straight for Baron after they just landed that poke here. Whirlip joining in as well. He has a lot of the damage. They need to take it down. Let's see what's going to happen. Kekis is very far away. The rest of Unicorns, they're moving in. So can Unicorns find the team fight? Hillisang is chunked out. Dark Binding is not going to connect. And Power of Evil's moving forward. Scatter the weak gets the stuns. But Frederick is able to smite it up. That's a Cyclone. Gets onto Hillisang and Vardax, forcing them away from the fight. Monsoon will keep Frederick alive for a few seconds longer. Just in time for Kickers to come in and try help some kills. Vardax gets two of Giants down at the cost of Hillisang. Giants are a bit afraid of setting up a spare push because they don't have teleport on Whirlip. 
That is very key for them because it means the Shen can always join in and therefore they are afraid of Yunus maybe starting a fight. But I still think use that Shivana now in the Switch. Oh, go for the fight. Wow, well, they're gonna go for the fight. Power of Evil's gonna get caught out and he is down. One of the damage takes from Unicorns is out and Bardax is falling low. Stand United will keep him up for a few more seconds as Chachi's forced to flash away defensively. Bardax and Kick is in full retreat. Fight. It does allow Janitor to come in. We talked about this a minute before. You start setting up. Suddenly now, it's not about face taking Unicorns of Love. It's about sitting there and poking on them. Because you start placing wards behind the dragon as well. You get these different layers just as around the Baron. And you can suddenly see a lot. Hillisang taking a lot of damage. He has indeed. Frederick's going to try chase He's in. He's going to use that Cyclone now to try get away on the back line. Power of Evil is out. Kickers is trying to find a target. They've got Audrey. It's all on Vardax. Vardax is going to flash away from Frederick. He's throwing down the rockets as Whirlip is going to descend in. He's sinking the flame breath. The flame spread. The burnout with Vardax out. Whirlip can run amok over the unicorns of Lab. Dragons are the superior mythical monsters. And he's trying to kill Chachi. Whirlip is not going to hop over the wall because he's got no flash to do so. If another fight breaks out. Yeah, he really wants to try and get some mana back. But he can't really recall. He's staying once again. Unicorns, they're going in. The tension you can cut with the knife. We see Whirlip and Audrey going to find Hellasang, but they will lose Frederick. Cyclone was used there, and Giants seem to have control of the now pit. Now Super Minions coming in the mid lane. Wow, that's a flash away from the Death Rocket. Achachi is going to taunt up Whirlip. Monsoon will keep Whirlip alive for a few seconds longer. Kickers is looking for a target. The Sonic Wave doesn't connect. Power of Evil gets the kill. Vardax is excited. The Zap is going to slow down Whirlip. I know the Rocket's all that's needed, but he's not going to get the chance. Whirlip does have a flank, but Vardax is shredding him down. Power, Power of Evil was tanking the Baron. That's not your objective. And he's going to be forced to wait. True shot barrage. It kills him! The power of Audrey takes out the carry of UOL. Now, all of a sudden, the gigantic Spanish fans at Almada are set on another Baron. Four versus five minions attacking Giant's base. Dragons descend to Baylor from going Whirlip. In. They're going in. Cyclone comes up. Here comes Whirlip for support. Hillisang is trying to defend with those soul shackles, but I don't think it's enough. Double kill for Pepe Nero as the living artillery shoots Unicorn's hopes down. Whirlip and Frederick started. Whirlip and Frederick want to end it. Aspect of the dragon means nothing against the half-dragon Shivana. And Giants take the gold lead. They have control of Baron. One more kill. Why they not? have the ace. And they may have the game. Godfred and Pepe Nero set up on the Nexus turrets with the aid of the Super Minions. Giants hit their power spike and they crush the Unicorns in 42 minutes to have sole control of fourth place. Take to the rift against Gambit Gaming. It's regarding Rek'Sai entirely, which in my opinion, Diamond's had his most impressive game of the split. So here's your team comps on screen one more time. Let's see who's going to get the advantage and who's going to get ahead. Of course, for Origin, we've seen what Pekka can do late. We've seen what this Vladimir can do late. Assuming Gambit give them time, Pekka will be able to carry. But until yeah. then, it's going to be on Niels. There's a lot more things for, for Origin to do in the late game compared to, to Gambit, Gambit. though, I like this play here. Betsy, he's winning the mid lane against the Vladimir pick from, from his Pegasus. What has happened a few times? Amazing, it's going to go down. Spur rushes up. Not even going to get needed. Betsy lands the chomp. Diamond goes low. But first blood secured for Diamond Prox. Pekka's ghosting. He didn't want that. That's a flash for Hemo play comes out. That might Ray be enough to secure the kill. Sanguine Pool is going to keep Betsy in place. Pekka is going for the kill. But he's still standing. Here comes the support from Soez. He's used his teleports already. Hemo Plague out to Forgiven and goes. Soez is trying to run a target down. Little Ants will connect on both. Hemo Plague has now popped and Tides of Blood splatting across Forgiven's face. He's still got the flash available. Holding on to it. Sanguine pulls out. Sanguine pull oh, is not well. going to be enough. The Prey Seeker does though. Amazing. Finds the kill. Mithy is looking for the Pulverize. There's the flash away and an uncharacteristic miss. Niels rends Diamond for a kill. Tower may fall shortly as well. But Niels is basically saying, I know Capture is going to be the guy every single time here. So I need something that can keep him away from me. Slow him down, speed myself up against the Hecarim. He's always super effective. Goes to Pepper here. Might be caught out. Oh, he has been indeed. The knockup comes up and Niels lands the killing blow. Now Diamond, he gets headbutted back as Mithy has found him and Peke transfuses a kill. Finds, finds the one on Betsy's going to be in trouble. 
I think he might. There's a ghost. ghost. Pops. Here comes Soez as well. Betsy's gonna get turned into a munchkin. But now Origin has to worry about the Baron. Nils was back in base when this play happened, and look what Gambit is doing instantly, rushing it. Only two guys are around it. TP from Source is ready. He has to use it if they want to stop it. And he is. Amazing's coming in with the help of Biffy. The knockup is on to Ghost. Ghost is trying to run away. Baron has been stopped. Now Kaba shot. Oh, hold on to that onslaught of shadows. Where does he throw it? Still keeping the trigger. There's no Hemo plague from Peke, nor is there a Ghost. Biffy Beautiful. goes in for a two man pulverize. Ghost of Peppers on the back line trying to run away. Peke's come in. Sanguine Blade. Amazing. Zig has returned from the flank. Diamond gets cut down where he stands. Origin get four kills after killing Betsy Bottom and secure the Baron for themselves. That is what matters. I agree 100%. Origin, they're just going in for no dive. So Diamond's down. You're falling behind now. Alistar is in his prime position where he can just instantly engage onto you. He doesn't care about your towers. They're going to push straight in for inhibitor. Betsy, though, trying to respond himself. Now he's very far away, and Origin pushing a lot faster than he is. So, inhibitor turret will get secured. Mythic gets lobbed in by Fate's Call. Pulverize is going to catch Cabo Shard out, and he's dropped. He tried to onslaught away, but does nothing. Yeah, now Origin, obviously. Up in the top lane, pushing in. We mentioned here how now Gambit might have the chance. They're going in. So we'll find out. Gosu Pepper is down. We do see there's Mithy with the headbutt pulverized combo. Betsy's spur rushing away with Xpeke out. Can Niels clean up? And the simple answer is yes. He's got himself a double kill as they turn their attention onto Cabo Shot. The Onslaught of Shadows is there just to keep Cabo Shot alive. The Exhaust will hold him in place as Niels will get himself a triple. Origin will get their eighth tower and they set their sights on the inhibitor. Gambit had to try this point here. They were waiting. Trying to see if they can get the jump. They got Peck it down, but that's about it. Origin still so far ahead of Gambit in this game here, and they're looking to finish everything. Look how short those death timers are. 10 seconds left before Forgiven is up. Origin gonna play this one a little bit safe and secure another inhibitor turret. Gambit moving their way up. Now we're not gonna go down just yet. Minions are pouring in. With Baron up in a minute, Origin gonna have the pick of the litter for objectives to close this one out, and they get the 10th tower down. League of Legends by the numbers. I said trip, don't want to risk a potential smite deal, even though you have to kill this man, and here's the fight. Well, Ghostie gets caught up by Fate's Call, and he's down. Niels goes legendary with that rend. Five versus four, it's not done yet. Mithy used Righteous and the coin to engage, and Amazing is just zoning them away. Look at those rend stacks. Climbing up 15, 16. Diamond's gonna need a miracle smite steal to make this work. Myth is gonna throw it on unbreakable will. Up to 30 stacks. We see Diamond is down. Amazing gets the kill. And Baron, number two, secured by Origin. I retract the statement. There is no inhibitor standing. Niels is hammering away with that bloodthirster shield and the shield from Lulu. Pecky holds on to his sanguine blade. Wild Growth comes out to keep Niels alive. Diamond hops in. And he just gets dropped. Onslaught of Shadows is there to kill Mithy, but that's not going to be enough. So as Niels, all of Origin moving forward. They want to go for the Fountain Dive. Going to prevent it this time round. Nexus is the focus, and at 35 minutes, Origin clearly hold on to third. And H2K her just one win back. Value that pick so much, and we see some changes all the time from these teams. That's how you get better and better as well. Absolutely. And I this think team. we're going back into the game because this is a team that is quite scary. Even more so than we saw them in spring. And you're right, Krepo. It's going to fall very far behind. Even TP from Huni. Yeah, Huni knows that he could be Dove as well, and he comes in. That is going to be Odo realizing he's not got anywhere to go. First blood to reign over on a beautiful die. And this is so smart by Huni because he prevents the mirror from happening. It is, but this is, you know, they had they had a bit bigger of a lead, right? And you, met, you said to yourself that now things have kind of evened up in the lanes. Let's see if Fnatic can translate this well, around. Lulex. Rain over Huni coming in. They have their sights set on the Queen of the Xursa. Instant flash. There's the Rune Prison. They're going to jump all over him as Rain over Ragnarok's onto Lulex for another kill. Yeah, level six on Rain over here. And just to, they are ready to fight because they've already come back with the AD carry. Be of sort for Reckless. It's if, a big spike. If, if Yana recalls now, Dragon dies instantly, and that's another one from Ryu. Well, but they could lose Febivin here as he's forced to flash away. In comes Odo and Lulex. All oh, the damage from the Shock Blast, but it won't matter as Ryu will take him out. 
However, H2K are a little oh low boy. for this one. Fnatic collapsing. In comes the Howling Gale. Ryu's got to flash it. It's gonna hurt for H2K. Yeah, Rex though. So. Right around the side. He's gonna find Lulex and Ryu's gonna find Rainover. Rainover finds him, takes him down. The axe is mightier than the bow. Now Yarnin is gonna get blown up. That's reckless. That gets the kill credit. H2K bailing out. And it ends up being a two for one. Two about uh, tempered stuff, that's for sure. Crepo. Let's take a look again at that dragon and baron control. Fnatic is the team that is all about these dragons. They're proving it right now, but they're also getting off the back of fights. Here's Uni. And let's see if they're able ah, to do it again. Yarden is, is gone. In comes Odo. Uni's going to follow. Top laner in an AD carry. It's honestly going to be about Huni when it comes to starting the fights. All the Olaf with uh, the Silver ulti to, to jump in on HK when it's not going over. Rain over. He's going a little crazy, pops his ulti on, but he's got backup. Lulex realizes too late as he's stunned up by the root prison, able to flash away. That blue buff will go over to Fnatic. Yellowstar, however, is locked up. There's the Monsoon. Huni is duking it out with Kasing, and the Shock Blast damage hits him in the face. Huni finishes him off. Kasing now caught up. Rainover running around, hoping to dodge the rockets from Yarn, and that's a double kill to the Rise. And who cares about that KDA when you can just keep stacking him up like that as he tries to get away? No, he won't. And the power spikes HBK hit earlier are falling off. Singy will have to ulti here. And he's gonna throw down the unbreakable will, gets the knockup on Huni, but in comes Rain over Lulex. It's a 2v2, but Yellow Star's around the side. So land a little bit of coin. In comes Odo and immediately burst it down. Rainover running wild now into the team as he's Ragnar rocking. That's gonna be Odo going down. Rainover will pick up another. And H2K a little slow to respond to this one. Monsoon keeping Rainover alive with a Phosphorus Bomb. Finishes him off. In Hoody. comes Huni. There's no backup for the team. Two for one, H2K. Picked up those two kills from before. Fnatic, we talked about this, how you get river control and then you start setting up and they're going in. They are going in. Odo one, he's gonna Ooh. melt. Gets off the equalizer, but Rainover comes on in. Lulex is down. Febivin will get the finishing blow. Two quick kills for Fnatic. Once that connects, targets are slow. That's easy poke. Here's Rainover again. You might see this one again. He doesn't even have Ooh. to get slowed. He gets stopped, and he gets ran right over by Rooney. And, and Rooney and Rain over combo up, charging forward. Will they try to end the game right here, right now? Oh, only one dead on the side of H2K. Trying to clear the wave at least for Fnatic pushing in. This all of pick as well. When you start snowballing, it just gets completely out of control. They're going in. Yep, Yarden's going to be the one targeted out. Meanwhile, Lulex getting pushed back. The Monsoon keeps everyone from Fnatic alive. The Axe is dodged by Yarden. But meanwhile, there's not too many H2K members left as a double kill comes in for Febivin. All five members of Fnatic standing strong, tanking the turrets. And this could be it, boys. Only two things are certain in this game. It's Death and Axis as Rainover goes in and just takes down H2K over and over again. Stacking four on the top side, they're letting Rainover run up the mid. We can four one this one in. Let's see what's gonna happen. These items of Febivin. What thirst the lost whisper. We don't have time for that. Oh, oh, Reckless. Reckless is down! And that might make Fnatic think twice about this one. They might be caught snoozing for a second. Timers are still not that long, and I feel like that's that's where a lot of that respect for Fnatic is coming in, but that's changing. The more and more the game goes, let's see if they charge in here. In goes the equalizer, Rainover runs right through it, and now Lulex Ooh. is evaporated! And Fnatic on the chase, but Reckless! Oh, he popped back for just a second, that looked dangerous. Rainover running through the middle, looking to pick off Ryu, will they do it? He does! Pick him off, it's Febivin that gets the kill, the Monsoon will heal them up. Kasing, that cow is not so tanky! A triple kill for the Jace! They'll have to stop because it's definitely hammer time. Four members down now for H2K. And this game looks to be all but over. Fnatic, the last team standing against them here in Europe, is going to fall along with their Nexus 9-0. Fnatic have tied their 2013 record for wins in the European LCS. Gaming, they're about to go at it as they both try and start their... I think SK Gaming will be very happy just having standard lanes here, also with this Morgana lock-in. I don't really like the Morgana too much, though, because you want more all-in potential against this uh, pick here from Froggen. Oh, yeah. Hey, we can see the back of us. It's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, why don't you tell us who you think is going to take this game? The crowd's still here. They're still hyped. And we're about ready to get onto the Rift. It is, of course, going to be... SK Gaming versus Elements, starting off right now. Yeah, let's see what Elements can do once and again. Dives in onto Candy Panda, wins the trade, forces a flash. Dexter 
It's now coming down to the spot lane here. You can just tunnel over the wall. Candy Panda's gonna die. Sand Shark smells the blood. In comes Nif. There's the summoner heal pop. Candy Panda's down. That's first blood. And Nif will actually be the one to secure it as N Rated has to back away from this trio of elements. For J Rose, Sven might try and set up a gank. Lane is pushed pretty far down, but if J Rose goes aggressive here, Sven goes in. And coming out of the bushes instantly, he's going to flash. The big barrel's on. The Meganar's up. And he's going to have to use that ulti and flash away. Will he stay alive? Freddy goes forward. J Wow is so low, but Sven's on the chase, tanking oh, the tower. Get it. He's going he's gonna to go down, though. And J Wow makes the, the most of a situation. One for one in the end, but J Wow ends up dying, so the wave is going to be lost for him. It's going to be pushed down to the tower. Seemed like he couldn't decide in the end. Do you want to flash away? Do you want to go back in? After Hard to make the decision with Had that Megan R, yeah. Dexter is now back towards the bottom side. He's taking a lot of damage from this dragon. Yeah, and Fox knows this. He can collapse. I'm so can and rated Candy Panda. He's caught. He's pincered. The dragon's even helping. Not taking any chances. Dexter trying to respond in the bottom lane. The wave is pushing towards elements. So now they can either zone away SK or they go straight for the gang. Yep, Dexter's gonna get the knockup onto N Rated. Fate's call comes out. In comes the cow and he knocks N Rated back. But there's a Shen coming in. And there he is to make it a 3v3. Nif is gonna be caught between three right now. And as tanky as he is, SK Gaming will polish him off. Suddenly, finally gets a chance to use Frog and to get a bot lane tower as well for it. This one took quite some damage before. Ooh, Tabs took a oh, huge amount of damage. They actually back off. It's near to going down, but still, this is dangerous for them. And Rated and Candy Panda, they're gonna go ahead and pop on the hunt. Another Fates call, Teleport coming in. They turn around onto N Rated, but instantly, the Shen is gonna come out as well, turning his attention to Candy Panda as JWoww. But in comes the Shen, gets the taunt off. In comes Meganar, and he's gonna smash down that bot lane. Nif picks up a kill on N Rated, and Fox immediately 180s. Off because it's too easy for Elements to place their own green wards and see everything that's going on and look for picks themselves. Yep, they might find it, but Fox is going to have a little bit of backup in the form of Shen. In comes Freddy. In comes the rest of SK out of nowhere, and Tabs is ping ponged around to a kill for Fox. And SK Gaming just haven't had an answer. Even when he's been in a bad spot, Tabs has immediately utilize that Callistol to bring him back into the fray. Let's see what happens here as he goes on in, looks for Sven Skaren, in comes the Shen ulti, and SK are gonna turn it right around, get the taunt onto JWoww, Meganar comes out, can they still turn the fight? Dexter looks for Fox, who goes golden, Nif has to flash out, he's gonna go down, and in comes Sven Skaren. Freddy, they'll all be backing off, but they're happy in the fact that they've taken at least one kill, while a wave continues to push down Bob. Not over yet here, Elements are still poking away from Froggen, Trying to see what he can do if he can force SK Artillery. back to base and then potentially oh. <laughs> counter engage if he might. This time elements are the aggressors and Dexter is the one who's knocked into the team and taken down. Meanwhile, instantly focusing on Nif now. Tabs out of the fight. Froggen out of the fight. JWoww blown up by Candy Panda. This is what SK wanted. In comes the coin. Down goes Nif. Sven Skaren belly bops him out and that's going to be a three for none. Tabs will take a few parting shots. Froggen and Dexter, meanwhile, trying to cut off the route of escape. Bindings and boomerangs are flying wide. SK Gaming had to be careful. Oh, as we pan away, Froggen is able to snipe down N Rated. It's yeah. a summer event. We couldn't show that one. For this element. No, it was too graphic. And whenever J has to teleport, he's the guy winning the one on one. Nice binding here onto Nif. Yeah, Nif is going to be pulled in, however, by the Fates call. Where's he coming out? Right into SK's waiting arms, and Candy Panda takes him down. Nif. Is going down after the fact. It was Tabs that actually got so strong indeed. Now, Tower's gone down. Looking for Dexter. In comes the taunt. Dexter flashes away. And Fox, right back to the inhibitor. Take it down instantly. Now, Elements trying to get a bit of revenge. In comes the big gnar from JWoww. Will his teammates arrive in time? Spence Garen chunked out by Froggen. So is Freddy. But Candy Panda is still able to take down JWoww. SK standing strong. And they have been doing some serious work for this team. Let's see what they can do to Dexter right here as they knock him and barrel him around. Candy Panda gets the last boomerang. And immediately they turn their attention back to mid. They've got minions to cover themselves. Building the wave down bottom, they've sent JWoww kind of to the top lane to try and push off. This should prompt SK. Will they go ahead and start this Baron? They do. There are Kogma living artillery shells to flying turn, from the back. But now they can turn on to Nif. He's going to get pulled in. There's the Fates Call used defensively. Fox is now going to get some shielding in the form of Freddy. That's going to be a big shutdown, though, for Tabs. And Elements manage to find three members. Freddy burning low. And will they finish him off here? No. They turn their own attention to the Baron. Freddy's going to teleport. Frog is going to stop him. Down he goes. Four for zero. Elements. 
powers close to SK Gaming, so they don't have to worry about them now. This gives SK the chance to just start that 5-on-5 team fight. Sven is coming in for the flank. The coins pop. He's actually worried. Wait a minute, guys. I what? thought you said go. It can stay that way for a while. Now, Candy Panda's gone up. This is Straight the time. Tower, oh, this is strike. Immediately, can they finish it off? They look for Freddy. He's gonna go in, gets the taunt. Sven Scaring gets knocked up. Nif gets knocked back. Everyone's getting knocked all over the place, but the tower's not going down. Elements, they're not finishing it off. And now SK are chasing them back. But do they have enough? As in comes the rest of SK Gaming. The Sivir got around to the side. And now, with the pickoff on Dexter and Nif, Elements have to back away. The plan is foiled, Deficio. Yeah, very strange from elements here. Some of the members were trying to hit SK Gaming, some of them were trying to hit the tower. In the end now, Sibility has been popped. Sven is looking for Tabs. Tabs is maybe going to stay alive. No, I don't think so. That's Fox who takes him down, but Sven might just live through this one. Takes a drink, he's earned it. Now Froggen is gonna get flash taunted. Shut down by Candy Panda. Look at and the base still though, going. yeah, he's teleporting in, he's trying to finish. Oh, is he really going to? Do they have time? They can back away, the Shen's leaving. Though. No, 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 no J-Wow no, 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 no. can't finish this game. He's just trying to, to, to force video. someone back from SK Gaming, the rest. Wave pushing on opposed top, there's a Shen pushing bottom. They're starting this bear, I feel like this is desperation. Yeah, they have to, they have to force SK to take a fight and use that Shen ulti, otherwise the base is just gonna die for nothing. It's already going down though, inhibitor turret. Freddy's finished it off. Will he come in? The Baron is going so low. Will he be able to scare it? In comes Sven. Can he pull it off? And it goes down in favor of Elements. The spears were ripped out. The fight has started. SK are starting to melt, but do they have enough in the tank? Look at the minions. Super minions still firing down the Nexus turrets. You call them minions, but that's a triple kill over to Tabs. Minions Everyone's just down here SK. for Elements here. So that buys time, and look here, everyone from SK is dead. Elements might be able to go up and finish the game. But then again, they don't have any minions themselves. They're all stuck down They're here. They're gonna have to tank the tower. They've, they've lost, they have nothing in their base except the Nexus right now. They're sending Froggen and Dexter to get these. These death timers are so long. There's one Nexus turret. They can tank they it will with get Dexter it. here. They will get it. Dexter can tank it. Froggen take it down. j joining in as well. What a game, though. What a game indeed. Just shy of 55 minutes, Dexter goes down. j coming. Finish the turret. j coming. Oh, he they're going to have to wait on it. Sending the next guy. All right, so it might actually hit that 55 minute mark. Down it goes. The dead timers are just too long. And in an outright back and forth slug minions now. Elements have taken down SK Gaming. And wow. And wow. This game, so back and forth, so many times. It's almost impossible to really look back at the entire game and, and pinpoint everything. Mm -hmm. Take a look at that match history, it'll be all, it'll literally be.